another video. This video is being sponsored by the Janet Collection. They sent me a couple of great products. Um, I'm definitely going to do this. I've been meaning to show my little sister how to do her own hair. So I had Esha send me a couple of amazing products to help me with this particular video because Trinity wants to learn how to put a wig on. As you guys seen in my last video, and in a video I did a while back, I had installed my own wig unit. So I think that I have enough knowledge, you know, enough knowledge to kind of show my little sister how to install her own wig. Okay, so the lace glue we'll be using today is the Esha Absolute. It is new. Make sure y'all can see that. Let me do how all the people be doing. <laughs> it has a spatula end that helps, that allows you guys to do a very smooth application. This is something that I'm going to love because normally when you put glue on, you know, we put these big ass glops of glue in it. We try to, you know, evenly distribute it with the end of a rat tail comb. Uh-uh. Esha has came up with an easier way to apply your lace glue and make sure that it's even. You just shh, shh, let it dry, shh, shh, let it dry, shh, shh. However many layers y'all want to do, then you put the glue on and then boom, baby, you got a lace front, okay? So this is my ghost bond or whatever. And even if I take this off, you know, I hate how the glue and stuff always gets stuck to the top. It's just always so hard to get a very smooth application. But I just want to show you guys this. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the ghost bond on my hands right here. Just a dot. You know. And then like I said, we usually use a rat tail comb to smooth this little dot of glue out. So this is how usually they do it. So you guys see that it's not even. I have more application over here than over here. Versus Asha, you just twist the bottom here. You twist the bottom. As you guys can see, the glue has came out. It already created its own little dot. It's not over doing too much. It has its own little, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it good. You see that? So then when I get it and I put it on my, um, on my hand, you know, I just, I just wipe it to make it smooth. And you're able to use both sides of it to make it smooth. It's like a paintbrush. You see that? You're just able to just do a nice line to even it out. Super easy, super convenient, super clean. So, that's one thing that I do love about this brand new product by Esha. So, we're going to definitely be using that um, on this wig install to give y'all some reviews and see how y'all like, how I really like it. Some other great key factors about the, um, the Esha lace wand. Some other good things about the Esha lace wand is that it is water resistant. It's water resistant with proper care, okay? And it lasts for up to one week. So everybody is always trying to make sure their wig is staying on and things like that. And you know they want to get in the water with their lace on. Try this glue. Let me know what you guys think about it. And just give me your honest opinion. Um, some other good things that I like about it is that, you know, sometimes our lace may lift up on the sides, on the corners, and we don't want to have to take off the whole entire wig to fix that little small um, lifting lace. So the good thing about the spatula on the lace wand is that you it can just the spatula just can slide up under that lace. You twist the bottom of it and just lay it real quick, let it dry, and press it back down. Super simple, super easy, super easy. And this is something that you can carry in your purse. People think this is some damn lipstick. That's how, 
how convenient and how cool this little small thing is compared to this big bulky ass glue. So let's 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 really get into it, sis. So another one of their great products I showed you guys is their daily lace spray, and this kind of works as your got to be. Um, but this little small can of greatness is a glueless lace spray and it's super sensitive on your skin so you don't have to worry about your forehead breaking out and stuff and I know a lot of these other products they're very heavy they're very thick they just they turn white it just be a whole lot of nonsense when it comes to using a lot of other different um, lace sprays so this is a great one that you guys can definitely use and it's a lot stronger than your average lace holding spray. And you can also use this as like a curl holder like if you're curling your hair and you just want to put something strong on there to hold it and not want it to be crunchy. What's tea? Let me just show y'all. This is a good product that you also um, need to get into. I just basically want to do this video just to introduce some pro new products to you guys so that y'all can get out of using the same exact products and try some new stuff. Um, just try some new different things. It's a new year. So we're going to try some new things, okay? Um, and then another product that is good is the Daily Edge Lace. And this is in this is pretty much like your foam. And you can use this to basically do your baby hairs like you do it on your natural hair, like me. Or you can use it on your wigs to help lay down your lace. And I'm gonna these all these products we're gonna use today on the new install that I'm gonna help Mimi do. Just a little bit of detail about the lace um mousse. It does not leave any white buildup. A lot of um a lot of mousse and lottie body type products they leave like this white residue this don't do that and i love that about this particular product and this laser lace oh jesus this this laser lace and scoops those this laser lace and swoops those baby hairs at the same damn time okay so this is very simple very easy to use and it's very sensitive on your skin so you don't have to worry about like i said breaking out foreheads bumps and stuff popping up on your foreheads you don't have to worry about that esha has always been very accurate when it comes to making sure that their products is sensitive skin savvy so baby let's get into the the, the get down okay let's put the wig on at this point let me get me in here so we can because <laughs> my baby sister looking like who did it and why okay all right i got my little sister in here and jesus why are you showing my hair like that oh jesus hold on how you gonna embarrass Ooh, oh god please no 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 jesus ah. mm -mm. stop embarrassing me so this one you know, hairstyle is D to teach me how to do my own wig. Period. Because she's talking to everybody else in a day. So I'm about to show my edges. I'm about to show her some. Um, I'm about to show her step by step how I put my wig on. Is this a long process? It's not going to be two seconds. extra products um but first before i do anything i like to slick back my real hair all this you slick it back uh, how I do that? so i slick mine back with edge control take your edge control edge control still protects your real hair from all the oh jeez no 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 Swoop them back. Swoop them back. You got to really brush them back. You just doing build up. Really I'm brush them things. Them I really brush them things. Brush them things, baby. Brush them things. So, I will show y'all what Mimi look like after she took these edges back. Because right, right now, it's looking. Alright, so we got the hair slipped back as best as possible. Mimi got some nigga hair. No, I'm just so, taking the hair back. It's not... Who uh, hurt my edges? Oh my Jesus. Girl, if you're gonna be complaining about how to get your hair done, then I'm about to just not do it because you gotta go stress my me. My edge hurt. Alright, so now that we have that one, we're gonna go ahead and move on 
to the egghead stage, you just put the cap on. So, most people use got to be. I'm gonna use the Esha Lace Spray in replacement of that. So, you wanna make sure that your cap is all the way over your ears, okay? And these little hairs over here, I don't know what they got, I don't know what she was doing with these braids. I know, we got some little tuck them in. Out the way. You wanna make sure it's, it's down. Like such, and then you wanna cut. Cut a hole in the ear part of it. To really hold it in place. Like such. And then we're gonna cut some down the middle so that it's not on her circulation. Right? So we got our cap on. So I'm gonna use my extra glue. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you running from why are you running? Just go. Okay, excuse me. Can you? And see this like almost like glue, it dries thing instantly down here. And you don't need a whole lot of it. I just like making sure it's saturated. You know? Looks the same. Very light and this product smells good. Don't smell like alcohol. Girl. It's cold. Okay. Get my blow dryers. I'm going to dry that. It's time, it's time, it's time to be a baddie. Because you look like a crabby baddie. Mm. It's the you ate. <laughs> okay, so we got everything nice and dry. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut the cap. What? You asked me to help you out, correct? Yeah. So what are you talking about? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can't even tell me what you're talking about because you're going down there. So do you guys see how it's holding? Like, I don't even, like, I don't even have to, like, try to pull it up or anything. Like, it's holding so well. Let it tear. So all I'm doing is just going to cut around... Okay, cap action, okay. Okay, so now that we've gotten the lace cut um, on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal the cap. I think you a little bit darker. Let's see. I think you a little bit darker. Yeah, a little bit darker. So, um, Etcha sent us a 13 by 6 HD lace, so we don't have to bleach the knots because they're already bleached in. Like the wig already comes pre-plucked as well. And go with the baby hers, okay? Let me show y'all. Just get into it. Let's really get into it, sis. Let's really get into it, sis. I love this. This is the unit. The hair feels so good. Okay. But it already comes with baby hairs. And it already comes pre plucked. So all we gotta do is put it on. 
and Asha baby got us covered on everything else. Let me just see what it's looking like. All right, so I got everything the way I want it. So usually I just cut the lace in a couple of different places so that it's easy for me to place it down where I need it to go. I don't cut it all the way back. I just cut it enough so I could like lift this little piece. Oh shit. So I just literally cut the lace in different little places so like I could lift this one little piece here and place it where I want it and then go to the side, place this little piece right where I want it and vice versa all the way around. Totally. So, <laughs> so we're about to get into this lace wand. I'm so excited about using this. Um. You see that? You just twist it. You see the glue coming up? And then we're just going to do an even application all the way around. So you're just going to literally, I'm going to do you a thick because you sweat. She sweats a lot. So I'm going to do her a really thick application because she likes to sweat. And she runs track as well. So. That's another thing. So I'll be back once I have this all the way applicated. All right, so are you paying attention while you doing all that? Yes, I'm paying attention. Okay, so we got everything nice and ready. Let me hot comb that to the back. Don't I mean. lose my baby hairs. Girl, where they go? Me. Where'd they go? I don't know. Cause you lost them. I'm just hot combing this to the back. So again, I'm losing my back here. So this gonna be out of the way. Turn your head this way, please. Girl, I don't think it is. It's not gonna be hard to find. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my little piece, Mimi. And then I'm gonna place it right where I want it. So I want this piece to sit right there. I'm gonna take my comb, brush that back, right? Take my other piece, sit that right there. I'm gonna take this piece, sit it. So as you guys can see, I got everything on. So I'm about to put, and now I'm about to style it while my lace is lacing, okay? Which one do a middle part? Okay. Let's see. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the extra foam to lay down this middle part. 
Don't get the movement doing all that. Take that hiccup. Gosh. Use some of that. Just a little bit. That's all you need. See how that grows? A little bit takes you an extremely long way. Now I'm about to just trim this off. <clears throat> Don't do what? Cut my eyebrow. For somebody that's asking somebody else for help, bro. You found my edge? Mm -hmm. Place on on something this way. Girl, Ouch. I ain't doing y'all. I ain't, don't ask me to show y'all do your hair no more. I ain't showing her ass at the record no more. Why? Yo, no, 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 baby. No, baby. I'm just not going to I need a, I need a second course. You know, I can't, I always need three courses. That's, that's going to give me like, something really good. I did three courses. I'm recording. Oh, you want me to take her out now? Yeah. All right. Turn this in front. So we got everything good. So I'm about to trim these edges up and try to scoop them as best as I know how. I just didn't I just say as best as I know how. Well, then it's just. So you just gonna have to come No, you have to you have yourself a little bit Okay, so I'm gonna use the edge lace. Which is supposed to put in the place of, you know, like I said, you don't need a lot. All right. Oh, man, 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 man. How you gonna interrupt my dance session? I'm literally in the middle of a dance session. I'm not the best of eight years. I see. It's okay though. All right, turn to the side. I got this side looking pretty good. So now 
I'm playing with the products. Let me try to get this side. Say one more thing. Don't I got them up there looking swirl? Don't say nothing else again. Time. Thank you. Okay, come up close. Let's see what baby hairs. So I got the baby hairs laid, and I used both of these products to lay them. They work good. So on both sides, come on, so I'm going to Period. Don't put me. Don't put me. Baby, I did it. Don't put me. Girl, I showed you how to do it. So next time, then you can say don't play with you when you do it. But it's on the model, so just don't play with me. Okay. Period. So I don't want to get y'all to do the lace process. Real cute. Real simple. Get into the baby hairs, okay, 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 let's go. So, make sure you guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, comment some more videos y'all want me to do, and don't forget to get your extra products, your Janet Collection wigs. Great wig, y'all. So, how do you feel about your your lesson? Do you think that next time you'll be able to do it on your own? Yes, with the help of you still. I'm just I'm not touching your head next time. So I'm not touching. Don't observe. I'm gonna just be like I already showed you. Look, touch, flap, done. Not getting up here swooping, swirling, twirling, not doing all that. Why? Cause I ain't gonna pay you that. You gotta pay me to be hurt. You just got free service, love. You just really got free class. I really should have been arguing $1,500 to $2,000 for a class. $2,000. I mean, but I ain't no professional, you know. I just do what I can do. But I should have been charging you like. Yeah, and I'm a professional. Top dollar. And I'm a professional. Nation. But I still should have been charging you top dollar. How you gonna charge me top dollar if you're not professional? I don't care. Because. You're not professional. I'm not. I'm not paying you top. You Listen. Know, we I'm gonna get out of the intro. So listen. Oh, what's good? Oh, what's up? I my baby hairs get a little love. And I done dropped the baby whistle. Hey, <laughs> Bitch, not pretty no more. Don't play with me. Don't say nothing to me about nothing. Perfect. You know, I'm in my little recovery stage, dropping pounds, okay? Don't play with me. Period. Get your products, click the link down below. Let's get into it, baby. To look like me. <laughs>